Hello, Joe Reinwine here. I'm going to do something a little different today. Got my uh, soon to be former intern from Lewis and Clark College, Michael Rilke Partain. Did I say that right? Yeah, I think so. Sweet. Uh, so, Michael, what are, you're just finishing college. What are some issues that people you know face um, that might lead them to seek either, say, uh, psychotherapy or <clears throat> some form of support? <laughs> Uh, maybe meditation classes, that sort of thing, the kind of thing I do here in my practice. Well, people my age, uh, we deal with a lot of stress. I mean, people of all ages deal with stress, but I think, especially us, you know, graduating college, we just paid a lot of money to go to school, and now we have to make a lot of money in some sort of career, and we don't know what we want to do. We could do this, we could do that. Uh, we're sort of being pulled in all sorts of directions, and uh, so a lot of it is to relieve stress, uh, so finding ways to deal with uh, all the things that are coming at you. So maybe go to meditation to sort of get away from it all or to like learn different ways to think about it. So yeah, I think it's just dealing with a lot of the different stresses that are coming at people my age. And, you know, I have the thought that, gosh, that, that's true of every generation, right? Sure, sure. And at the same time, I mean, this is a stretch of one of the roughest stretches of uh, economic problems that we've had in the history of the United States. Do, do you think it's harder in some ways? And what what are some uh, things that you can think of? Are there people or, or um, well, situations of, that you know that well, suggest of, that this is different? Well, a lot of it is. Well, we, I, we were the first generation to be born where I was, you know, learning as a kid, going to elementary school, and then having computers. Oh. And then a lot of that sort of just ha being able to <clears throat> connect with people in a different way. And it's, I mean, it is difficult with the, e with the economic times, but a lot of it is starting to trying to deal with technology and sort of dealing with different kinds of distribution of information and how things get around. And yeah, I think that, I mean, the economy's gone down, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. So that's that's interesting. So so people in, in in your generation grew up with computers, kind of like my generation grew up with books, practically. Absolutely, yeah. And and, and one thing that you've shown me is how fluent you are with computers. Um, let me ask you a slightly different question. What um, when when you think of friends of yours who have had, um, <clears throat> well, let's say a more difficult time mm -hmm. uh, make, taking the next step. What kind of advice would you have for them? Uh, well, the main thing is to make sure that you're flexible in whatever mm. you do. You need to be able to um, use the resources you have and also learn uh, that you can, if you're in a ter bad situation, you can move and to not be afraid to start over. I think that's, with a more fast-paced world, it's more important to, you know, sort of cleanse who you are and then sort of start over new. Being flexible sounds like a recipe for success, at least over time. Well... I know that your time is running out and that you're going to fly off to, to Minnesota. So I want to thank you for, for all your work you did here and for doing this completely impromptu uh, little interview. And um, I hope it was helpful to some of you out there. Um, and we'll see you again. Bye.